Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to continue Pandas library in Python. In our last class, we learned that how to download any data sets from SQLand library and then convert them into a data frame. Now in this session, we will see how we can convert different kinds of data formats into a data frame so that we can apply the machine learning algorithms. Okay, we are going to do many examples. Uh, now start with this one. Here I have created a list of list. So now our job is to convert this data into a data frame. Okay. Now how can I do it? Same process the data frame function by using pd dot data frame pandas short form. This one is the data that is the values and now columns means the name of the columns. Here I have written name age city name will be the first column age will be the second column and city will be the third column now if i try to print this then the data frame will be printed see it will be this list of list will be converted into a data frame i'm sorry i have to uh, run this founders as pt okay see this is converted into a data frame okay next one see this one you can see that this is a dictionary but list of dictionary same i want to just convert them here i don't need to provide the column names it's already given like name age city so i can just write pd dot data frame data now if i run it this will be converted into a data frame okay so you can gather data in any format now first your job is to convert them into a data frame that is the main crux that is the main usage of pandas okay now see this one here i have created an array using numpy numpy library can be used to create any array so see i have just created an array and i have same kept it in data now i want to make it a data frame how can i do it by using data frame data here columns and names are not provided so i can give column name these are the column names you can give another column names also okay as per your ways this is not fixed these are the string they, you can see these are kept in a quotation. Okay, now if I run it, then the numpy array, this is a numpy array converted into a data frame. Now you can apply algos on that. Okay, suppose I have any CSV file or Excel file and I want to work on those. If you have seen my project, uh, then you have already experienced. Otherwise, let me show you. See, this is a data set. You can see. Now my job is to upload this data set in cola convert it into a data frame so that i can apply machine learning algorithms fine this is you can see this is an excel format or if i want to open it uh, with a notepad now you can see that this is a csv file why csv this is comma separated value full form of csv see this uh, there is comma after every values Okay, so that is why this file is not CSV file. So your file can be in CSV format, can be in Excel format, can be in JSON format. It doesn't matter. You can simply convert them into data frame using Pandas library. Okay. Now suppose first what I have to do, I have to upload the data set. So you can go here, click here and upload files. So I have kept it in download. Okay see here this one is getting uploaded once it's uploaded you can use it so i can write df equal to pd dot read csv if you are uploading an excel file you can write excel okay it's simple nothing whatever the format is you have to write it here pd dot read and the file format here i have to put the path how can i write it you can just click here copy path you just keep it here okay you have to keep it in quotation fine suppose you are working in jupyter then also no issues if your folder is in desktop go to the folder right click on the folder copy the path and put it in the jupyter no problem there will be no issues but sometimes we make a problem with front slash and back slash i face problems many times so if you are facing any problem like it is unable to find then you may check that whether you have given the correct slash or not okay just be careful with the slash okay now you can see that it is already done 
now same way do you remember df dot head can help us to see what is there in the data set okay this is the same data set we have just seen so we can simply upload this in read underscore csv read underscore excel read underscore json in whichever format it is and you can simply work on that now you can apply df dot info df dot describe df dot save there are many other functions in pandas you can apply all those things in a data frame fine so this way you can uh, create a data frame also so study about different types of functions here i have just created a dictionary uh, and i have converted it into a data frame dictionary means you don't need to provide the columns because already there are keys keys will be used as column names fine now here i have just sorted the values how by age i want the data frame to be sorted so i can write sort underscore values by the column name by the column age now if i run it first one is the data frame the original data frame this one 25 30 22 28 next one you can see the ages are sorted 22 25 28 30 fine so you can just simply sort the values by giving sort underscore values okay fine now if you want you can do other things also like you can apply df dot info you can apply df dot head you can apply df dot tell df dot describe whenever it's converted into a data frame you can apply whatever the functions you have in pandas as per your necessity okay next understand duplicates function here you can see i have written alice bob charlie alice david bob so things are repeating like alice bob okay they are repeating i want a clean data set where there will be no duplicates so for that first i have to convert this data into data frame what i have done here as it is a dictionary no column names are required next step is find the duplicates how can i find the duplicates by using the duplicated function this function will give me those values which are duplicates let me show it to you see these are the values which are duplicates okay alice bob alice bob alice 25 new york bob 30 san francisco these are existing in the data set two times so i can write df equal to df dot drop duplicates to check the duplicates i have to write duplicated to drop the duplicates i have to write df underscore drop duplicates now suppose if i want to print df see uh, alice bob charlie david no duplicates alice bob charlie david alice and bob second time they are simply removed so i am getting a clean data set okay so this is the way you can remove duplicates fine now suppose i want to check whether there is any null value or not how can i check that df dot is null let's see see it is showing me the boolean values false means there is a value it's not null same so there is no null value here you can see no null value that is why it is showing me as everything as false okay now suppose instead of is null if i provide not null then the opposite one not null means to check whether the value exists yes in every column there is a value so this is giving us true so is null not null exactly opposite but doing the same things like finding whether there is any missing value or not why do you need to find anything missing or not to achieve a good accuracy your data must be clean so it should not contain any missing values missing values can be deleted or can be replaced with some other values there are some methods but those things we will learn while doing eda part okay now let's understand another function that is as type see here i have created a data name age salary a dictionary converted it into a data frame now if you check d types so it will show you just let me show you it will show you that this is a data frame name is an object age is an object salary is an object d type object object is kind of string here everything you can see in a string format these are also in string format written in quotation so that's why these are treated as object okay now i have converted into a data frame okay now what i want that age is in a string format i but i want it as a numerical value salary same i want to convert it into a numerical value 
So I can simply change the data type by using as type function. If you write as type function and you pass in which you want to change it, like I want to change it into an integer, so I can simply write as type integer. So it will be changed into integer, salary will be changed into float. Float means decimal values. Now if you check the D types, you can simply see that name, name is object because we have not done anything with name. Age, we have changed it into integer, so in 64. Salary, we have changed it into float, so float 64. Okay, so you can simply change the data type also after you have converted into a data frame. Okay, so after you convert your data sets into a data frame, then you can clean the data using different kind of functions. Fine. Here I will tell you how to convert anything to date time format. Here there is the data which is containing date and value, but dates are in string format. So if I check the D types, it will show us as object. Date is an object. Okay. Now our job is to convert it into date time. Simple, you have to use two date time function. Simply uh, call the function and pass the data frame on which you want to apply. Like we want to change the date into date time. So we have written df date. That means within this data set, on this date uh, column, this will be converted to two date time. Fine. Now if I just check what is the data type, it will show us date time object. Okay. Fine. Simple things, just practice once. Okay. Next one is a correlation matrix. Correlation, if you have seen my project, you have already experienced it. Correlation means a relation between two columns. Like, uh, suppose if I study for a long time, I'll get a good, I'll get good marks. So these are kind of positive correlation. There is a relationship between two columns. If one is increasing, Another one is also increasing, then it is positively correlated. If one is increasing, but another one is negatively decreasing. So, relationship between them is negatively correlated. Depending on the relationship, we can find the uh, correlations. So, for that, we have to use CORR function. This is the data. I have just converted it into a data frame. And now, if you simply call the correlation function CORR, then you can get a correlation matrix okay now let me show you this is just a correlation matrix the value is between minus 1 to 1 uh, it shows that if a increases b decreases but if a increases c also increases a and c positively correlated but a and b are negatively correlated simply understand the concept what is correlation and we can use them uh, wherever we need to know what are the relationship between different columns. Okay, so that we can find the patterns from the data set. Fine. Now see next one. Uh, you have a data set. Like you just want to uh, convert this data set into Excel file and you want to save that. That's what your task is. Now how can you, how can you do it? I have just taken a data, converted into a data frame. You may have a ready-made data frame also. Like we have that data frame, so what do you have to do? You just want to convert it into an Excel file. Now first you have to give the file path. File path means where you want to save the file. If you want to save it in desktop, just go to your desktop, create a folder where you want to keep, right click, copy path. Just put the path here. That's what you have to do. Okay. Next one is you have to write bf dot to Excel. To Excel means this will be converted into an Excel file and will be saved. Okay, here provide the path. This is the path. You can directly put the path here or you can write here and uh, write the variable name here also. So it will just simply convert it into an Excel file. Now if you run it, this will be saved as an Excel file into your desired path. Okay, same way if you want, just write CSV to underscore CSV. So it will be converted into CSV file and it will be saved. Fine. Now see this one. This one is just, I have created a pivot table. Okay, first see here. Here you can see that score of Alice in math, score of Bob in math, score of Charlie in math, score of David in math, score of Alice in physics. So you can see that the data is a bit haphazard manner. I want a good summary of the table. 
I want to convert it into a pivot table. For that, I have to write pivot table function. df that means the data frame. I have to provide values, index, column names. Let me show you first. You can see here. So, on the basis of subjects, the column will be created. What are the subject? Math, physics. So, math will be one column, physics will be one column. Fine. Index is name. You can see this one is known as index. The first one, the first column. So, index means name. Alice, Bob, Charlie, David. Okay. And then put the score as values. These are the score. So, you have to put the score accordingly. Okay, that's what we instructed and now our data frame is ready. Okay, so if you just want a good summary of any data frame, you can convert it into pivot table. Okay, so we have almost completed basics, in fact more than basics from pandas, but we are going to learn more while doing exploratory data analysis part. Okay, so bye, happy learning.